Hello, I'm Dave Eicher, and welcome to the universe. Today we're going to talk about that mysterious stuff of the cosmos, dark matter. So turn on your mind and get ready for the real reality show. As early as the 1930s, astronomers like Fritz Zwicky discovered that the masses of galaxies and clusters must be greater than their visible light could account for. In the 1950s, Vera Rubin of the Carnegie Institution began studying the rotation curves of galaxies and found their outer parts moved more quickly than they should, unless they were being helped by a cloud of dark matter. By the 1980s, studies of objects like the bullet cluster delivered ironclad evidence for dark matter. Today, we know from satellites like Planck that 26% of the universe consists of some form of dark matter, but we still don't know what it is. Years ago, theoretical astronomers worked up a model called cold dark matter, and that is the likeliest explanation. They turned to subatomic particles as the likeliest culprit. Cold dark matter simply means particles that are moving at relatively low speeds, far slower than the speed of light. The cold dark matter model also suggests that density fluctuations in the early universe led to the formation of structures in the cosmos much later on. The problem is that the prevailing model ruled out practically all known subatomic particles. The leading candidate that remained was the neutrino. But now even the neutrino has been ruled out. Larger objects like free-floating planets, rogue black holes, so-called WIMPs, weakly interacting massive particles, and other things were proposed. But they don't seem to fit either. Today, the leading possibility seems to be axions, hypothetical particles proposed in 1977 that have a very small mass and could explain dark matter. But we really don't know. So stay tuned. I'll see you next time on The Real Reality Show. <laughs>